Southern Girl Knits, episode 31. Um, it's been a long time. I've missed you guys a lot. Um, I haven't fallen off the planet, <laughs> I swear. It's been a really busy and crazy, crazy summer for us here. Uh, the kids are back in school. So that happened, yay. Um, actually, I'm a little sad, I miss them. <laughs> we had a great summer, we really did. Um, I mentioned on Ravelry that um, I'm having surgery, and that is actually, today's Tuesday, I'm having the surgery when Thursday, so not tomorrow, but the next day. Um, so yeah, no fun. <laughs> No fun at all. I'll be in the hospital for about two days and then should take me about two weeks to get back on my feet, um, which hopefully means a lot of knitting time. Um, never had this kind of surgery before, so I don't know. Um, so, but, you know, que sera, sera, right? <laughs> um, so any, you know, prayers and you want to send my way, I will gladly accept. Um, haven't gotten a lot of knitting done this summer since I've seen you guys. Uh, really haven't. I've, we've been traveling so much and the kids, just spending time with the kids during the summer. Um, I hadn't really gotten too much done, so I don't have a whole bunch to show you, but that's okay because I'm planning on getting a ton of knitting done while I'm on bed rest. <laughs> bed rest for a mom of three. Yeah. Yeah, right? So um, the main thing I've been working on, and I wish that I'd have brought them, I've left them in the other room. I'm working on washcloths like crazy. That is one thing I can say that I got done. The stack, and I'll show you guys next time. The stack is probably about this high right now with washcloths. I keep finding these fun colors. Isn't that great? And it's just the regular peaches and cream. You know, nothing fancy. I just stop by there and whatever fun colors they have, I buy. Cause they're fun, you know? Washcloths are fun. They're mindless. I like mindless sometimes. Sometimes that's just what you need, right? It's, yeah, it's what I've needed this summer is mindless. And this is the other one that I have. Colors aren't showing up too great on this one. It looks gray, but it's really pink and green. Um, so, and it doesn't, I guess my shirt's kind of like, bam, yellow. My brother lives in California, so, um, we get Lakers paraphernalia, even though I do not follow basketball at all. Love football now. I'm ready for some football. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so, um, I showed you, I think on the last episode I showed you this. Um, I don't think I had begun. It was the onion unwind yarn in the ethereal colorway. And um, I think I was trying to decide between the Skype sock and... I can't remember what other pattern I was, spring forward. That's right. So I cast these on and I got these little puppies going while I was in Louisiana. So I've gotten past the ribbing and into the cuff, which I love the Skype sock. The pattern on it is just really nice. And very easily memorizable and so the outcome you get looks like you worked harder than you did does that make sense like it looks like you really put some time and effort into it but it's a simple repeat that after you do it once or twice you're like yeah you don't have to look at the pattern again so even after picking like I'll put it down for a little while you know a couple days or so and I'll go and pick it back up and it just like snaps right back so gotta love that and I'm loving that yarn it's so nice um, and then I had, I saw on, um, I guess it was probably Facebook. Somebody posted a, um, something about the farm, farmer's almanac, how, you know how they use it to, to tell, I guess they still use it. They being farmers, maybe, I, I don't know, but <laughs> I know that it's highly accurate. I know it's a very reliable source. And the excerpt says that we are supposedly in for a really crazy winter, like crazy cold winter, like ice. We don't, we get snow here. We get our fair share of snow. The problem is the ice. We get rain and then it'll freeze over into ice or we'll get snow and then it'll melt a little bit and then go back down to freezing. 
And so everything that melted just turns to ice and then it snows on top of that. So you might think you're just driving with snow and it's not. Underneath that snow is like an inch of ice and it's so dangerous. It's really kind of scary. Not fun times. So um, anyway, after I read that, I realized that I needed to start getting on the ball with the kids' hats um, for the winter. So I started Reese's hat and it's in the, oh good, thought I took the tag out. The Brene Sheepish by Vicki Howe. It's a single ply yarn. I'm doing it in this current colorway. And then I'm gonna put a stripe of gray. Woo! Let me fetch that before the cat gets it. <laughs> so I'm putting a gray in there. And I love hats. I like knitting hats. Knitting hats is almost as comforting to me to knit as knitting a um, a washcloth. You know, and, and granted, when I say hats, I mean the little simple version of the hat that I do that doesn't really follow a pattern. It's more or less just, I know to cast on this many for this size head because, you know, everybody in my family, all of my poor children with their big heads. <laughs> So, you know, I've got a basic recipe that I follow and I find a nice yarn and I just cast on and go and it's really nice. And so I did that the other night and literally sat down in half an hour and did this. So, you know, I've got that going and that's probably what I'll work on a lot while I'm resting up because it doesn't require too much thought and it they kind of finish up quickly. You know, you don't have to spend a whole lot of time on it without getting like the final product. Um, I finished this a long time ago and never showed y'all. And it's because I've been meaning to block it. And I didn't. I still haven't blocked it. So I'll just go ahead and apologize. And I screwed up. So I was working on the Henslow. Remember this? Yeah. Beautiful, right? Found a lovely yarn. Finished it up, um, it's yet to be blocked. I got to the bottom and I started doing the border and I did not like the way the Pico edge was looking. And so it was just, I like to wear these around my neck and I just wasn't liking that, that Pico edge. And so I thought, okay, you know what? I'll just, you know, they put the Pico edge on after a couple rows of stocking net. So I'll just bind off. You know, I'll get a needle a couple sizes bigger and bind off. No big deal. And so I did that, and now I'm mad at myself because it's not as pretty as I want it to be. It's still beautiful. You know, with this yarn and this pattern, it's kind of hard to screw it up, but yeah, I found a way. So I want you to be able to see the pattern. Yeah, see, it's not blocked. It's not showing up as nicely as it will after I block it, right? I mean, it's still gorgeous. I still love it. It's going to be a beautiful addition to my winter collection of, of scarves slash shawls slash cowls slash things I wrap around my neck. Um, it's beautiful. I did this out of the Mad Tosh um, in the Badlands colorway, and it's gorgeous. I'm just kind of now thinking I should have put that Pico Edge on. Easy knit, fun, not hard at all little pieces that you might have to concentrate a tad. Um, but other than that, totally worth it. I can't wait to get it all blocked out. And yeah, yeah, I'm excited about this. And I have a ton of yarn left over. So um, I get to pick something else to do in that yarn to probably give away because, you know, I'm not going to want two of the same. But we will see. Um, part of the fun of being in a downhill pattern, like with, you know, I've, I haven't had much time to sit in it because we're gone so much. And, you know, in the car, I prefer things I don't have to concentrate on, like the washcloths or anything in stocking net. And so I haven't gotten a ton of stuff done, which means that I've got a ton of yarn that I've bought and want to put on the needles and a lot of fun things in my project list. Um, so... I don't know. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to, to healing up where I can like take out my yarn and, and look through my pattern library and find something really fun to, 
to put on my needles because, you know, pretty much the sock and the hat are all I've got right now and washcloths, which are always ongoing. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. But right now I'm going to just focus on getting through the surgery and, um, it's, it's so hard because the kids are just now back in school. So we just, we haven't established our pattern yet. You know, that getting back into school rhythm that you get going, we haven't really gotten that down yet. So, um, and then I'll be in the hospital. So uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy right now. So just bear with me. Give me a couple weeks. If this is the first time you've watched me, this is not my normal episode at all by any means. Um, I promise that I will be, you know, on the ball. <laughs> it's just give me time to heal up and everything and I'll be back and back into a regular pattern. Regular, I do well with schedules. I really do. I am that person that, that thrives on a good schedule. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I'll get back on a good schedule, a good recording schedule, get my knitting back, you know, get everything back operating smoothly. <laughs> um, so I won't, you won't hear from me for a couple weeks, so don't worry. Um, but I'll hopefully be able to check in on Ravelry and let you guys know that everything's cool. And then look for me back in a couple weeks, maybe two, maybe three weeks. And I should be back and back in full working order. <laughs> So, um, until I see you guys again, thanks for sticking me, sticking through, you know, sticking with me through this and my crazy schedule and not recording, um, for so long. I, I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. I love you guys. You're awesome. And I will see you very, very soon. And don't forget, always be awesome. Bye guys. <laughs>